Hey, we're not reeling up the coast today, we're reeling up the goose. We're in Lancaster, South Carolina with the Hodges of Wrecking Crew Guide Service and we are goose hunting. Hunting a little field here with some wheat and some oats right beside a pond and the geese are here. You guys stay tuned, the action starts right now. Reeling Up the Coast is brought to you in part by these following sponsors. Harry's Bait and Tackle, offering the freshest bait in our area since 1954. By Towboat US, Little River, Myrtle Beach. Sign up today and we'll make sure you get home safely. And by South Carolina Bank and Trust. At SCBT, it's our beliefs that set us apart. We believe in our people, our customers, and communities we serve. At Marshall's Marine, fun comes in waves and adventure is always waiting. Step inside the Southeast's largest climate controlled showrooms and select your next boat, Wave Runner or ATV. Choose from pontoon boats, deck boats, Triton and Ranger bass boats, Yamaha Wave Runners, Stingray Power Boats, and Arctic Cat all terrain vehicles. Marshall's is the largest marine dealer in the Carolinas and our. I got him! I got him! I got him! I got him! Goose hunting with Team Wrecking Crew in Lancaster. My first time ever doing this, I tell you what. What a great time. These two are trying to come back. Got Mr. Blake Hodge out there going to get our birds for us. You guys are going to love listening to him blow a call. Unbelievable. At 14 years old, He's got state championships, a national championship, and here comes some of these. Circling back around. I'll tell you what, it's not as cold as I thought it was going to be down here. I hear him. Man. That's pretty exciting. I like... <laughs> I like them big targets. <laughs> I like big targets. That one got hit for the guy. All the years of cussing these things out on the golf course, finally got to shoot one. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they will wear out a golf course. These, these geese will wear out a golf course. This is a great little field. We're sitting right beside a pond, right down in the little drop bottom over there. And uh, Daryl and the Hodges set up these blinds and set up these decoys, fortunately before we got here. And uh, we slid in and had an early group of geese come flying in early, a little bit before shooting time, got within shooting range and went down and sat on the pond over there. And these guys are just kind of calling them back and forth. And again, Blake and Daryl are unbelievable at the call and, and you'll enjoy it. Goodness! <laughs> Woo! Boy, these boys can load up quick. Uh-oh. Got one running over there. Got him. Good shot, Blake. How about that? We've been trying to do a little interview with Blake there three times. Three times we've been trying to do an interview with Blake. Every time we get set up, Blake starts playing around. And in comes a huge flock. And look, we got more flying around. Way right. All right, here we go. Look here, two coming in right there behind us. Man, this is exciting. Oh boy, I tell you what, this is going to be a blast. Get him! Oh! 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 
Oh, <laughs> I tell you what, shooting these three and a half. They're coming back. They're coming back. They're coming back. Oh. Come on. Here they come. Oh yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Listen to those guys work that call. Look at that. 14 year old Blake Hodge down there on the call. That's just unbelievable. Guys, it's been a great, this is my first goose hunt ever, and I tell you what, Daryl, it was a blast. I know it's 8.15, and you said that. You said by 8.15, it'd probably be done. We should, and, and we were done, 8.15. We much. had some, we had some, uh, we had some, a bunch of birds. I mean, you like you said, you've really just been by here a couple days and seen the birds here. Yeah. You had not been sitting up over here to oh, no. kind of figure anything out. Yeah, we did. We kind of came in the blind. We knew the birds were working this huge field, and uh, we were debating whether to set up here or or next to the pond, so we chose uh, chose the field down in this valley and uh, set up, and uh, it worked out pretty good. We, I think we got some great footage this morning. Well, I'll tell you what, I appreciate Wrecking Crew Guide Service bringing us out with us today, with you today, and I know we got some celebrities over here to the right. I'm gonna let you introduce them all. Okay, on the end here, we have Jeff Dennis from the South Carolina Sportsman's Magazine. Uh, Pete Hodge is my father. He's from Hartsville. Uh, my son, Blake, and and Captain E here from reeling <laughs> up the coast. Hey, Blake is gonna come back with us in a little while, and, and I know one thing, you guys are gonna be unbelievably impressed with his goose calling and duck calling skills. But right now, I want Daryl to kinda, of, I'm, I'm new to this, so okay. I'm gonna let you kinda of walk me through our whole setup here and how, we, how you figured this out and got everything set up for us. Okay, what we were using this morning, uh, we were hunting out of uh, most, mostly layout blinds, or coffin blinds, some people call them. Um, where you can have the flaps. We try to blend in, use camouflage to blend in with the terrain that we're hunting. And the flaps, you kind of come up with your arms with the gun and, um, and you can get on the birds fairly, fairly quick. Um, we use flags. I like to use flags when they're... Here oh, comes. speak... How about that? They're coming. Here they come. <laughs> hey, this is what it's all about. We got some birds, some late birds coming in. They're coming. We better get in. Yeah. Too far. Yep. Get that other one up right there. Woo! Shoulders getting sore now, definitely. They just didn't want to come in. All right, Darrell, what happened? What happened with those birds? I okay. thought we were in pretty good. I thought, well, well I never did get in mine, so I, I, I don't know if I was the cause or the blame of that. Uh, but um, well, we were talking about the, the coffins, and here everybody's in it already. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we were uh, pleasantly interrupted, but um, pretty much this is how we were set up this morning. And um, I like to flag when they're first at a far distance. I like to hit it three or four good times, and then bring it down. And then when they're on the when they're skirting outside and Blake's hitting them with the comeback, I like to hit it a couple of times. They can hear it, and plus some of them in the flock can see it. And, and as they were doing this morning, a lot of the mid groups and rear birds were really wanting to break away and, and come into our spread. And uh, speak, speaking of our spread, um, we left an open pocket. We, we had the birds tucked in, tucked in pretty qu uh, close to us. And uh, we got a mixture of feeders, uh, full bodies, uh, with one sentry. And we've got uh, one sentry off to our right as well with most of the birds feeding. And that's generally what you want to see. These birds, last few mornings, have been feeding uh, pretty hard. They've been going to town. 
And um, so we tucked in some of our uh, floaters, we took the keels off and tucked them in a little closer to our blinds just to give a little bit of extra camouflage for our layout blinds. And um, it worked uh, It worked a few times this morning for us. Yeah, it did. L looking from up here, I mean, you can look down at Jeff and Blake right there. I mean, you can barely see them. <laughs> I mean, just a little bit of motion, look. Yeah. I mean, you can barely see them. Stay tuned, we'll have some more action coming right up for you. But if you're thinking about doing a charter, come down to the Grand Strand and fish with me, Captain E, and T2C Fishing Adventures. Whether you want to fish inshore, near shore, or offshore, I can take care of all your needs. Visit my website at t2cfishing.com. And if there's any questions that don't get answered on there, make sure you email me. I look forward to taking you out on a charter sometime soon. I made this trip to Lancaster today and another exceptional youth in the outdoors of South Carolina. Blake, I'll tell you what, I've enjoyed uh, talking oh, yeah. to your dad about you over the last couple months and, and watching your videos and seeing you blow the calls. And, and I know that not only that, you're extremely smart and, a, and I can tell you got great manners. You've been raised well. Thank you. Um, the outdoors means a lot to kids. Don't you agree? I mean, yes, I know it's meant a lot to you. To me, the same thing as a kid growing up. Um, I've just gotten into duck hunting and goose hunting. Today's my first time ever goose oh, hunting. I've never duck. I've never called ducks before in my life, and you are the man with a duck <laughs> call. You're the man. You guys got to just Google Blake Hodges and watch how many pages come up with this kid's face on it, blowing a duck call and a goose call. Now I'm gonna let him share some of these calls with you today. Now you've won. What what states are what states are you the state champion right now? I've won uh, the duck calling competition in South Carolina. And in, um, I've won the goose in North Carolina and Virginia. Golly! And you, you did a two-man team deal with somebody. And with you Kent won Cullen. Yeah. And we won the two-man world meet out there in Texas. World. At 14, people. At 14! I'm 40 and cannot blow a duck call. <laughs> All right, now listen. Uh, you know, I know when it comes to duck calling, uh, the main thing is the comeback call once they get going away from you. I want you to go through a rig and roar. Give me, give me your duck call right now. You know, you got a flock working out in the distance coming in. Why don't you go ahead and show some of the viewers what 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 they want to do right now? All right, like if they're just out there and you want to bring them in, you just and as they're working over you and everything, you're just. And as they leave, you just and then you start bringing them back in, just repeat it, and you finally lay them down and pull the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, if, well, wait a minute. If I pull the trigger, a lot of times the birds don't fall, as you've already seen, so don't laugh at me. You shoot pretty good, by the way. Thank you. You should be able to kill one of these things. I don't know why. I, I reckon I'm leading them too much because I've been duck hunting. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking of geese, you know, I listened to you and your dad sit there and call, and it sounded like there were seven people sitting over there blowing go geese calls. Now, you got to walk me through a common goose call, like what you're doing. If you see the geese coming in, why you're blowing, what you're blowing. Why don't you tell the viewers exactly? A lot of times when they're out there far away, you give them a hail call, like <coughs> just kind of long, solid notes. And as they're coming in, you start working into faster stuff. And <coughs> and then just once they start working over you and everything, you're just doing a little <coughs> kind of growl at them, giving them a feeding call. And then you do about just like ducks, you'll just get on them harder as they leave. And then just keep just keep working them until they finally come in. That's unbelievable. Now you're you're a member of Decoy Pro Staff. Mm -hmm. Who are your sponsors? You got a bunch. I got I'm sponsored by Decoy Outdoors. Um, I'm on the Drake competition calling team. I'm on the um, Wintuck competition calling team. And um I think that's about it. God, man, I tell you what, though, at 14 years old, I tell you what, I'm proud of you. Oh, yeah. I know your dad is. I really appreciate you inviting me up. You're now, you're going to come to the beach and go fishing with me, right? I'm ready. Let's go. All right, we'll leave your dad there. You come down and visit me, and we'll go fishing. All right. Guys, you heard it right here. Blake Hodges. Make sure you keep up with him. Go to wreckingcrewguideservice.com, and you can keep up with everything this young man's got going on.
Guys, that's goose hunting, wrecking crew guide service style. I hope you enjoyed the show today. We're going to be back on the water soon, catching some fish, but make sure you tune in next week with me, Captain.